Hey boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly. I'm here at Forum, IllusionForum.com. I thought I would do this real quick because uh, there was some confusion. Some of, one of my viewers was asking about poses and what poses to use and <clears throat> for your dad's characters. I wanted to show you something that, that actually I have to tell you I was surprised by. So here's Daz. Uh, actually, this is another pose completely. Let me uh, back up to this. I was just playing around to see uh, what happens. This is... This is the Daz default pose, okay? So if you if you just load a regular character in, this is the, uh, it comes, it's sort of an A pose. Actually, it is an A pose. Uh, but this is without putting any kind of pose on the character whatsoever. This is how it comes in, using Transformer, the CC3+. Plus. We're just strictly talking about CC3+, Plus here. This is for, for Gen 8 characters. And this is how it comes in, <clears throat> excuse me, into um, Character Creator. And if we put it in an A pose, you'll see that these genes work just fine. Okay? So this is leaving Daz alone, not, not mucking up in any case with the default pose of the way a character comes in. This is the way it should import in. However, uh, Real Illusion recommends, at various times they've recommended using their own poses, and they have... Uh, they supply both an A pose and a T pose. The T pose is the older version uh, for uh, the Genesis characters. We're just talking strictly about Genesis 8 here. And they actually recommend using an A pose. When I put an A pose on that character and import it in, then what I end up with here is, uh, I'll show you in just a half a sec. So this is, so if I put the Real Illusion supplied A pose on the Genesis 8 character and then import it in, I end up with this. And then if I do this, you'll see the genes don't work properly. So to me, that's very interesting. And the same thing works on the T pose too, although I wouldn't have used a T pose anyway. So, so really the bottom line here is the Daz A pose, the default Daz pose is the one we really should be using anytime we have even a question of a uh, problem between materials between the legs. Just use the regular Daz pose. If you put the real illusion A pose on here, it will screw things up. Now, I think the, car uh, the person that was watching the videos was talking more about Genesis. Unfortunately, in Genesis, uh, which has to be imported via CC3, you have to use a T pose. So you may at times get this in between the legs. There's no, there's no real way of getting around it. I would still, if it were me, I would still use the default uh, Genesis pose, uh, default Daz pose to come in and see if that helps. But if it doesn't, then you're going to have to do that trick about editing between the legs. But I never use Genesis figures. I, I use strictly Gen 3 or Gen 8 mostly. So um, that's really all I have to say. But anyway, it's interesting to me. So the bottom line here is don't use the supplied a pose from real illusion that would be my advice and uh, and and it may be one reason i have very little problems with clothing because i never put a pose on my characters i just bring them in to to daz i export them this way i never worry about it one way or the other and i have very few problems in clothing but again if you have specific clothing issues that you're having a problem with let me know let me know what Genesis figure it is and what clothing it is and provide a link to the dad's site, if you will, and I'll, I'll check it out. All right, see you around the forums.